Half of you who clicked on this video probably thought, cool, rockets, and the other half probably thought, oh no, rockets, another thing to endanger this hobby. At least I assume so, because the two times that I've mentioned the concept of launching model rockets for model airplanes, I have been met with concern and criticism, and I don't blame them. But for the record, I am using the smallest engines that you can buy, wrapped up in a construction paper and hot glue rocket, and operated from a private airstrip on a 360 acre private property surrounded by strawberry fields. And as a commercial pilot myself, I am quite familiar with full-size aircraft traffic. I've seen a lot of videos where someone put a rocket engine on an RC airplane, but that usually results in the destruction of your airplane. Either way, rockets fulfill some kind of inner human desire. To make the rockets is really simple. You just tack the engine onto a rectangular piece of construction paper and roll it up and glue it shut. Then I made a little cone and glued that on the top. And of course this rocket needs some fins. To mount the rocket onto the airplane, you just need to glue a straw onto the side of the rocket and then slide the rocket onto a steel rod that you could just poke into the airplane somewhere. But in this case, I bent it in such a way so that it could be mounted under the wing. I highly recommend buying a variety pack of music wire, which is like high carbon steel. I use it as push rod and landing gear and other random stuff too. For the rocket's ignition system, you just need to basically connect the electric match to the battery's power. I've tested both 2 cell and 3 cell LiPo batteries. And to control when the rocket actually launches, you need to stick a switch in there. I have used a physical switch and a servo before, but that was a pain in the butt. Then I found this radio controlled relay switch, which just has a servo plug that you can plug right into the airplane's receiver. I used channel 5 of my 6 channel radio system so that all I need to do is flip the switch on my transmitter. This can be used to control all sorts of things. So here's how the rocket gets installed onto the airplane. The airplane is just the wing from my bird whale strapped onto a simple foam board tube. I'm no rocket scientist, but I found that my rockets were extremely unstable, I assume because their center of gravity was way back next to the fins. The fins need to be behind the center of gravity, so I tried taping a small bolt or something to the front and it seemed to help quite a bit. After I finished launching all my rockets, I busted out the old chainsaw plane, which is a ton of fun to fly down here on the full-size grass runway. I've had this airplane for almost a whole year now, which is pretty incredible because all my airplanes don't usually last very long. I made a separate video just bringing you all up to date on how the airplane has been doing after a year, and footage from flying it here if you want to check it out. Hey! Why'd you stop? You're not supposed to just work right away, that's ridiculous.